live video. Today I'll be showing you a yellow fish that has a fly fin. It's a beautiful fish, It you can find them pretty much everywhere. It's very common, very easy to find. You can find them all the way from East Africa, like Kenya, all the way to Samoa. And in between you have Australia and the Coral Triangle, which is which is as Indonesia, as Timor, Bali, Vietnam up north, all that good stuff. So let's go to the fish studio. This is the quarantine. She's been in quarantine one, it's going to quarantine two very soon. It's pretty much uh, done with the quarantine. And it's right here in my little fish studio. One of the coolest fish, one of the coolest fish around. So let me adjust this. Alright, camera settings, switch the camera, and there it is. So my friends, that's the flag fin angel. Scientific name Apolemictis trimaculatus. That's as close to Latin that I can. All right, so like I was saying, did I say it? Maybe not. But you can find them from East Africa all the way to Samoa Islands. You can, if you're diving, you will find them in reef slopes and drop-offs. Um, they, they are deep water, more or less deep water, so between 50 feet to 200 feet. They're not reef safe or reef safe with extreme caution because they will definitely go after clams. Uh, inverts like dusters and polychids and they might nip as soft corals and stony corals large polyps should be fine so tank size do at least a hundred gallon tanks a lot of rock hiding spots uh, if you have algae growing on the rocks that's great they will they will nip at the algae if there's a good biodiversity of uh, sponges tunicates algae whatever it's growing in your tank will do great for this guy because biodiversity is key. Uh, eventually here at the shop we should be able, we should start growing some uh, really cool stuff like tunicates and special algae for these angels and also sponges. So when they are small they will eat little, uh, they will graze on algae but once they get bigger their diet usually goes more towards sponges. Uh, they are not aggressive, so but they will spar with members of its own species and they also might fight with fish that has similar color or related shape. Um, like they are, since they are not aggressive, keep them with uh, tank mates that will, be, that will not be aggressive because you first introducing this guy and everybody is being aggressive at eating and kind of push him away it, they will stress out and they will not eat so keep that in mind uh, food when you're feeding them given that um, I like San Francisco or Ocean Nutrition uh, uh, Angel formula that has uh, sponge mixed and uh, spirulina and vegetable matter and also mysis brine all that good stuff so that would be great and if you can throw use one of those uh, two little fishes uh, 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 feeding rings that float and they also have a little magnet so you throw the cube there it's floating it doesn't get dragged by the flow and those cubes you don't need to thaw them so you put them there and then the fish will start nipping at it um, this guy it's a uh, it's not a juvenile because juveniles don't have blue lips so it's already in between a juvenile and an adult so it will still grow a little bit more about eight inches uh, in the wild you will see them in small groups and they, you can also see them in pairs but most of the times it's small groups because their deep water temperature they, they can take some colder temperature 73 but you know they can tolerate up to 84 so 78 will be a great temperature to keep them fun fact they also can uh, hybridize uh, become hybrids with uh, with gold flake angels. Alright, so let me put this guy back in his tank uh, and let me show you also a technique to catch angels because they have a spike on the side of the opercoon and if you use nets they usually get tangled and get all stressed out so 
keep that in mind. So let me catch them and let, let me show you. You can use a net to scare them into a cup. Let me show you. So this is the this is a cup, a specimen cup. This is great. Here's the visual, uh, the vision is pretty full, it's on the sides, they don't see the, they usually don't see very well the, the cups, and sometimes I just put the cup inside and he just by curiosity goes inside the cup, so this guy is amazing, alright buddy. Back to your thing. So let me show you. There he is. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, take care. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share.